Hey everyone, I've got another really beautiful checkmate in two problem. In this position it's white to move and a checkmate in two. If you wish to skip to the solution by all means click on the timestamp to do so. And if you like the solution and if you like the problem or even if you're able to solve the problem make sure you hit that like button and uh, well if you want to as well share this with a friend to uh, show this particularly beautiful study. Okay, so this position, it comes from Frédéric Lazard. He was a French chess composer, a very famous French chess composer. He was also quite a strong uh, tournament player in his own right. Uh, he competed for the French uh, national team in Olympiads, and he also competed in the French chess championships as well. Uh, so a very strong player, but also a really beautiful composer as well. Uh, so the trick with this particular puzzle is again to understand that black hasn't really got a whole lot of moves here. He can't move his king because obviously all the moves that he can go to are covered by some of our pieces. So you've got all these moves covered by various pieces. These pawns, they've got nowhere they can go. They're not going to do anything. And, uh, well, really the only two pieces that can move are either this knight or this bishop. If this knight were to move, though, it would be a very simple solution you take here on uh, f6, and that would be checkmate with the pawn. So very, very nice. Um, so really the only piece that we've got to worry about is this bishop and how we are able uh, to deliver mate with this uh, this bishop here. Now, probably I'll show you a couple of failed solutions first. Uh, these are failed solutions not because it's not checkmates, that's still checkmates in three with these solutions, but because it's not checkmates in two, which is what this puzzle requires, uh, it is therefore a failed solution. But it's still very nice, these, uh, these, uh, these moves. So the um, one move that probably a lot of you would have played, uh, and quite simply, it's just, look, it's a check. I, I see a check, I have to go for a check, is the move knight to c8 check. Now, king to e8 is the only move, it's forced here. And unfortunately, after this, white really hasn't got any more checks. He can come back with his knight, but you've just repeated the position, and you've definitely not got checkmate in two here. Uh, but nonetheless, queen to e8, uh, queen, queen, h8 queening here, uh, is still a nice checkmate in uh, in three. The funny thing about this is uh, black has got no legal moves here. Uh, well, the only legal move he's got is the move bishop to g6 here. And after this, we can take the knight. And that is checkmate. Very, very nice. Uh, another move that a lot of you probably also thought about is, well, my pawn is on h7. Why don't I just promote it to h8? So... You can also do this as well, but again, this is only checkmate and free. The problem is, let's say black makes any move here, let's say he moves his bishop to g6. Uh, well, there isn't really any checkmates here. Uh, if we move the bishop here, for example, the king just runs to f8 and there isn't any checkmate. But there is one nice solution. If we take this knight with our queen, and let's just say this bishop goes to, I don't know, b1, um, we've actually got three different ways we can deliver checkmates here. I quite like all of them. Uh, so you can either do knight to c8, that's checkmate. You can do queen to f7, that is checkmate. And also the move bishop to f6, also checkmate. I quite like that. Three different checkmates you can get there. Okay, let's show you the solution. So the solution to this one is very nice. We push this pawn, but instead... Of promoting to a queen, we promote to a knight. Ah, very interesting, very interesting. So what can black do here? As I said, there isn't many legal moves that he can do. We've already discussed what happens if the knight comes to f6. Very simple checkmate. We do a pawn checkmate here. Very nice. So the only other moves that black has got are with this bishop, but both of these moves don't work. Um, we definitely can't do the move bishop to g6 as this would be a simple checkmate with knight takes here on g6 checkmate. Um, so the final place that black can go to is he can move this bishop 
to F8, uh, E8. And it looks as though everything's fine, but the problem now is because it's come to E8, black has no longer got this retreating square backwards, so now the move knight to c8 now works. Very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this particular puzzle. If you like what you see, as I say, guys, please leave a like at the end of this video. If you're able to solve it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and you'll see many more of these puzzles like this one on my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.